In order to make the world's best stuffing, we must bake the fresh sage. About one ounce, fresh thyme, about half an ounce, fresh rosemary. We're baking that into the bread. We'll be uh, kind of taking the stems out. I swear to God, if you people, if I catch any of you chopping this wood up and stick it in your bread, I'll find you and we'll kill you. What else do we need here? Four cups of flour. Three tablespoons of sugar. Two teaspoons of salt. Two tablespoons of dry milk. One and one quarter teaspoon of dry yeast. I reckon that's two tablespoons of oil. One cup and three tablespoons of water. Yep, I'm using that. Hey, it's me and my Toastmaster. You know, I grew up in the back end of a bakery. Don't need nothing. Use a damn bread machine. We're just making this for the stuffing. Use your damn bread machine. Use a two-pound loaf recipe in there. Use the one I gave you. Make sure you get them herbs and spices in there. Put your water... Your yeast, your sugar, all your dry ingredients together. Get them in your bread machine. Not those herbs. We're going to chop those up. We're going to put those in during the second knead. Where are we? We're a two pound loaf. There we are. Two pound loaf. We're going for our basic medium here. I think we're good to go. Let's do this. Okay, this is going to take me about three and a half hours. It's about an hour from now when I'll uh, get that second need. That's when I'm throwing in those tasty, fresh herbs. Damn! You seriously need to smell this. It smells like Thanksgiving already. Here we got uh, our sage all chopped up all nice there. And uh, rosemary, see? Yeah, no pieces of lumber in there. You got that? And, uh... Same with your uh, time, get your big sticks out of there. We'll be putting this, uh, we'll be putting this in uh, the bread here soon. I'm back! It's me and the Toastmaster. We're doing it all, it's the same thing every year. Year in and year out. Nobody ever helps me, no matter how much I beg in here. What do you want me to do to help? You can start by getting the hell out of my kitchen. Anyway, it's me and the Toastmaster. Like I'm saying, no one ever does a damn thing around here for me. What we're doing now is, uh, I want to make sure, hey, time to add my stuff. Make sure that your dough is not like really super dry. Like you at least have like some element of stickiness. So now we're going to add, uh, we're going to add the goodies here. This is where it all happens. It's our sage, it's our rosemary, it's our thyme. And there's no damn sticks in there. I swear I'll kill you if you put them in there. want to make sure that gets incorporated in there. Sweet. Oh, nice. Now that baby's going to finish its final knead. It's going to raise. It's going to bake. It's going to be freaking awesome. We'll be back. Oh, look at that. Damn you, kid. You've done it again. Smells like grandma's house in here. What? Sweet. Grandma's house without, oh, look at that. It's crowning. You want to crown them, then crown their ass. We are living right. I'm trying to hold this thing here.
Smooth as silk, baby. I got you. I got you. There he is. Smooth as silk. That's all that was supposed to happen. Look at that, baby. Oh, yeah. It's sage. Rosemary baked in there. Sweet. We'll let this bad boy cool down for a while. And then we'll slice it up. We'll cube it up. We'll let it dry out then. We'll see you guys in a bit. Man, look at that. Those herbs baked in there. This part here, this is known as tearing it up. We're just going to get it all into little crouton looking things like that. Tear it up. You can cut it up with a knife if you like, but I like tearing it up. It makes it look a little bit more homemade. You know, when you're tearing this stuff up, you can smash some of it down too if you like. We'll be adding juice to this. Just do what you gotta do. Tear it up! Dude, I tore it the <clears throat> up. Now we just gotta let this dry out for a couple of days. Put it on some pans, let it dry out, toss it around, you know, every day, give or take. We'll get back to this stuff. We'll do it right. Alrighty, here we go. We got it all dried out, cubed up, bagged up. We got 24 ounces of dry stuffing because that was a two pound loaf that we made there. Two pounds is 32 ounces. Don't confuse me with math. We got 24 ounces of dry stuffing here. And then on Thanksgiving day, we're going to add uh, nine tablespoons of butter. That's a half cup and a tablespoon and uh, about three and three quarter cups of uh, turkey stock broth, whatever, so. We'll get back to your Thanksgiving day. You know, you could probably just throw some water on this, stick it in the microwave, and it'd be better than the crap you've been feeding your family for the last 20 years. But you know what we're doing here? We're boiling up our turkey neck and our gizzard there. That's where we're gonna get our stock from. Then we're gonna add some celery, carrots and onions and parsley and some other good stuff i'll be back all right that's our three and three quarters cup of broth that turkey neck been steaming all day and nine tablespoons of butter that is one stick plus one tablespoon we'll be throwing some celery in here in a minute all righty we got about two cups of celery there put that in water <laughs> about a half of an onion chopped up there it's going in the water we'll just let that sit in there for a minute be right back all right now into our dry stuffing mm, look at that we're going to add a gosh load of parsley it's probably about two cups of chopped up parsley two bunches of green onions chopped up in there and that's about a cup of carrot all chopped up oh that's nice pretty I did that with my bare hands. Now we're going to mix that together. And we're going to throw in that other stuff. We're going to bake it. Bye. Okay, the magic's going to happen. Pouring in our stock. And our celery. Mix this up good. Mmm, yeah. Mix it up real good. Oh yeah, we're gonna mix it up good. We'll put it in the casserole dish. I'll be right back. Yep, I buttered that thing. Okay, we're gonna bake this for our 30 to 40 minutes at 350 to 375. Um, 
Cover it if you want it moister. Cook it in a lower temperature. Or leave it uncovered. Get it all crispy on the top there. Mmm! Oh, there it is! Look at that! All crispy on the outside. Mmm, look at that. Okay. Well, we're going to enjoy some Thanksgiving green bean casserole. Mmm, gravy. Don't drop my phone in the gravy. That's how you make the world's best stuff, Ed! Here we go. <laughs> this is where it all happens. Man, that is so good. You take two bites, you're going to forget your name. Hey! Who the hell am I?